Listen. Cozy, right? Cozy. I couldn't have picked a better day to film this video. Don't shoot the messenger, guys. Don't hate me, but autumn is coming into stores. Yes, autumn is coming. Don't get me wrong, I'm still all for a bit of summer sun. I feel like we are only in July. We've still got, I feel like August and September end up getting really hot, or at least we have some like really hot heat waves and yeah. So I know that sun will be back, but for today, I'm just gonna enjoy these cozy feels. So I've got my cardigan. It's actually quite cold as well. It's 13 degrees today. So yeah feeling cozy and I have seen that the range in particular and home sense TK Maxx have started getting their Chris Christmas bits definitely not there yet their autumn bits in as well as Asda, Matalan and I'm all for a seasonal update, a home decor, seasonal change and don't get me wrong I agree it's way too early to be getting autumn decor to put out but to buy it now and then pop it away for autumn so that a you don't miss out on the good stock because let's face it it all goes straight away and b it's like kind of like a surprise when you get it out when it is eventually time to start decorating it's like oh yeah i forgot i got that so i'm all for that that's kind of the process that i had doing our renovation doing our house up in terms of buying things along the way putting them away in storage and then now that we're at a stage where we're like decorating the spaces it's like oh my god i forgot i got that or oh yeah i love that and it's like i totally forgot that i got it or you know it is a bit like oh it's exciting so that is my take on the whole autumn in stores right now i would have preferred them to wait a little longer but um i just feel like it's that early that you can like i say get the stuff put it away but anyway welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here i am an autumn lover as you can probably tell summer is well i mean it's great when it's like this <laughs> it's not great but you know i can't complain the heat is what i struggle with in the summer in england so i'm all for a bit of sun don't get me wrong but anyway we're embracing the rain today we're getting cozy i'm at a retail park that has a b&m a range um a couple of other things home sense tk max matalan so i'm going to pop into some shops i'll show you anything that i do get because i probably will be buying a few bits to put away we'll do a bit of an autumn haul within this video so if this isn't for you totally appreciate that feel free to save this video for a later date pop it to one side but don't come at me if you watch this video in a couple of months time and all the stock that i've bought uh, has gone and is no longer in stock because that's what happens in this country anyway i started this morning with a lovely little workout a home workout which i'm not gonna lie it's been a long time since i've done anything like that because tom wanted to take the dog out for like a really quick walk when he does this quick walk that he does with them i can't keep up like he's doing it for exercise so i said yeah you go take the dog it's drizzly it was kind of like a little bit drizzly this morning but i had the doors open with some fresh air did a bit of a home workout and then i did some yoga afterwards as well had a shower freshened up washed my hair so it's already middle of the day by the time i'm actually getting out and filming this video and um yeah so there's a mcdonald's here too so who knows we might end up 
after a lovely workout treating ourselves to a mcdonald's lunch anyway let's get into the shop let's see what's new in for autumn 2023 just don't shoot the messenger okay i know some of you are gonna be like it's way too early i agree i agree to an extent but it is what it is let's go shopping So I'm halfway through my shop and I'm pit stopping at McDonald's. I'm feeling pretty peckish. I've just got a few little bits to have actually. And I've got myself a toffee nut latte. Again, just cozy vibes. Um, the only thing is they don't do decaf here. So if I'm a bit like scatty later on and I feel a bit out of sorts, remind myself, this is me for reminding myself that's why it's because i've had caffeine and i've not had caffeine in a while but anyway i'm sure i'll be fine i'm sure i'll be fine um but yeah i've got some chicken selects or chicken nuggets can't remember which one i ordered and uh small fries and some mozzarella bites just a few little bits okay just pulled up so i totally forgot as well i got this oh, little lotus biscoff is this really like bad having a mouthful of this before i even have the savory Mm. basically just mcflurry with like lotus caramel sauce and a little lotus biscuit sprinkled on top definitely recommend getting the app if you don't already with uh, mcdonald's although i am there quite often um uh, but when you pay when you pay on the app it means you get like points and then you get free stuff so like my chips were free and my coffee was free my toffee latte i don't think i've had these before these little mozzarella bites i've had the mozzarella fingers before mm. they are good i keep catching myself frowning i feel like these two frown lines here i could do with just a little just a little a little something something little prick of botox that's them i have had botox before quite a while ago now maybe a year and a half ago something like that yeah year and a half ago but i had it in three areas i had it along here for my forehead for my frown lines and for my crow's feet and i liked it there i liked it here but here it made me feel quite heavy so i don't think i would get that again it kind of made it looked like it made my like my eyebrows really heavy and my eye shape is not that even which is you don't really notice it but then if i'm really tired i notice it like one eyelid is like really i get it from my dad like my dad has the same kind of eyes like one like eyelid that's heavier and i found when i had botox up here it it kind of highlighted that but anyway I made sure, in fact it was after I just turned 30 that I had it, um, because I, would, I didn't want to have anything done Botox wise until I was 30. I don't know why, I just, I just felt like I didn't need to. And I also don't want to get it, you know, when it wears off, after like three to six months, to keep getting it, because then I feel like, I personally think it's quite noticeable people that have had it and have it regularly that which is not what i want so maybe just here just a little bit but anyway i'm gonna finish eating my little bite to eat 
chicken nuggets that it was that I went for. I never usually get these. I usually get a burger. Oh, I, I do get these, but I get these for Barney. <laughs> Sometimes give him a couple of chicken nuggets. But tonight, we had um, we had a pork roast yesterday that Tom cooked, and it was delicious, but we've got loads of meat left over because it was just the two of us. So we're going to have, like, pork and stuffing sandwiches tonight, so I didn't want to get a burger, like, with loads of bread. So this is my alternative. Anyway, I'm going to finish this and then head back into the shop, see what else there is, and then get back home and show you what I've got. There's no point cause we both know Ooh, From here there's nowhere to go Someone said your heart is golden All I got was my heart broken I can see Look who's here to welcome me home. Oh, thank you. Kisses. Thank you. I've got you a toy. Do you want to see it? Yeah? Yeah? Figured seeing as though I treat myself today, bought quite a few bits, I thought I would get a little toy for Barney in a home sense I saw this one. So I bought these before from Home Sense, but like the bigger versions. But for some reason, Barney loves like a tiny toy, like a little, I don't know, like if ever we've been with people who have smaller dogs, for him it's like the smallest toy you can find, the better. Obviously I don't want it too small that he could swallow it, but I thought I'd get him this little duck. How cute is that? They did have bigger ones, like I say, but yeah, we'll get him this more. You go in your bed. Good boy, that bed's home sense, speaking of. Anyway, I thought I would give you a little update in terms of what I've done styling this space so far. Very much just playing around with things, I've got lots still to do and sort out in the storage room and starting to get these autumn bits is making me think I need a good sort out and clear out of um, seasonal decor like Christmas decorations, autumn decorations. And I just, not even just clear out, but I actually categorize, organize. There's a lot which are like in the same boxes or in boxes that are nothing to do with seasonal decor. So at some point I need to have a good sort through of that. I'd like to ideally do it before autumn so that when autumn comes around, it's a case of just bringing up the boxes and everything in the box I know I love. So yeah, I probably will do that at some point soon. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I've done. Firstly, with the dining table, we've got chairs coming. I've gone for eight, four on each side, and they're like a boucle linen kind of fabric from Cox and Cox. So I'll show you those when they get here. And for anyone who hasn't seen my previous vlogs, this table is from Still and Bloom. It's absolutely gorgeous, really rustic, lots of like knots and grooves. And yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. So for now, what I have done is popped these, um, this set of bowls, which I got from Inspirations Wholesalers. Again, that kind of rustic wood touch I love. This table runner is from Wilco's, but it's actually two table runners together because the just the one of them isn't long enough. So at some point, I probably would ideally like to get one that actually properly fits. But for now, that will do. And then this is also from Wilco's, but it's a placemat. So I've just kind of like put it that way and tucked it under just to um, kind of like hide the seam of the two table runners that join in the middle and then this is from it's from H&M home but I got it at charity shop with just some baby's breath in and then this little duo of candlesticks are from M&S again like rustic and kind of irregular in shape 
This I'm yet to burn. It smells amazing. I love the vine tomato candles and this one from Dalesford Farm is gorgeous. I'm thinking of burning that as soon as like we have like a meal that's a bit smelly in the kitchen because the tomato neutralizes odors or if we've got people over. I kind of want to save it because it is obviously beautifully scented candle. These aren't cheap. So yeah, I'm kind of saving that one a little bit. Nothing's changed here in terms of like olive tree mirror. However, I have added these two. So these are two things that I wanted to show you. They're not obviously seasonal. They're not autumn, but they are from Home Sense and I've just popped them here just so you can kind of see where I think I'm going to have them, but $12.99 for the larger one and the smaller one was $7.99. They do have drainage holes in so you can have them outside and they do actually have them in their garden section. But I kind of like them as home decor. So for now they're just on the floor, whether or not I'll get like a little plant stand or a, a plinth or something to pop them on, I'm not sure. In fact, that would look really nice actually if I had two plinths side by side, a taller one, a smaller one, with those two on them. But anyway, that's that. Our dishwashers have popped open. They do this, they pop open when they're finished, which is actually really good because it just helps them air dry, but that just means I need to empty two loads of pots. What else is new? I've got my White Company tea towel out the seasonal one spring summer nothing's really changed on these shelves i have added that sunday supper's book and also this pulpo cooking book i love the kind of exposed uh what do they call this like skeleton spine <laughs> skeleton <laughs> the exposed spine of that book i think it's really nice so that, yeah again another cooking book got my few cooking books over there this won't stay like this but i just moved this here yesterday but i've got this book up from the basement as well i brought a lot of my books up actually so that one's home farm cooking um but yeah it's not going to stay there i just had it there for yesterday because i had it on the island but i had to move over when we were cooking i'll show you the console how i've styled up this space here and again it's very like rough i'm just as and when i'm bringing things up up, I'm popping it on here so it still needs a lot adding to it and a bit of a shimmy round but I brought my two Kinfolk uh, books here well I've got the garden one which is the book on the end there I've got this rustic pot I can't remember where this is from oh it's from Inspirations Wholesalers as well and then this we're just using as a bit of a key bowl so as and when we come in we can just dump our keys in there and then on this little tray here which I got from Moth. You may remember that from my last vlog, which I got, oh, one of my last vlogs, and then this little match pot from the Maker's Market in Didsbury. And then this candle on the tray is in a gorgeous deep green color, perfect for in this space. That's from H&M in the St. Olive and Sage. And then down here, we've got a, another book. I love this one, Resident Dog. It's basically <laughs> loads of different people's homes with their dogs in them. I just really like it and uh, this little pot is again another one of those like kind of TK Maxx finds that you get. A couple of cushions that I've popped there again for that kind of colour accent goes with the island quite nicely, that kind of earthy mossy green. Those are from m and the outlet at Cheshire Oaks and then just a little jug there from Home Sense as well. Over on this console it's definitely not going to stay here, a few of you mentioned that it looked better here but um, the speaker that goes with it for the surround sound, it kind of has to be there rather than on this side of the wall for the effect. So that's why I've kept it there for now. Obviously, when we do finish this space here, I might move that console table back to where I originally had it planned to be, which is by the front door. And then I, I don't know if we'll maybe just keep that speaker on the floor as it is. I don't, I'm not sure. Excuse the wires on it. That's my charge of my laptop but anyway I've got this book I love this book because the actual pages can you see on the edging are black and the little tray that I got from that uh, street cell from Moth in Didsbury as well that's our little remote tray and then these shelves I don't think anything's changed on them actually so for now this is how they're looking this is my favorite piece which again is from that shop moth in didsbury in the street sale at just 10 pounds like a paper mache bowl you could probably have a go at diying a paper mache bowl like this but i just think it's beautiful i popped it on a book but i actually prefer it 
off the book but for now I've just left that there because I have I need to have a good styling session with these shelves and rearrange everything pop some more photo like I've got three photo frames in and none of them have photos in yet so <laughs> we need to do something about that but yeah that's how the space is currently looking not updated it too much but as and when I do I will share it with you Did you hear my hip clank? <laughs> my God, I'm showing my age. Now is the time, if you haven't already, to make yourself a nice cozy drink. I'm saying cozy because, as I keep saying within this video, we're getting in the feels, we're getting the cozy vibes going. Um, if I hadn't already have just had a toffee nut latte, I probably would make myself one too. But I'm all good, so yeah. If you haven't already, pause this video because we're about to get into the whole section of everything that I picked up. And it's ended up being quite a bit. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with Matalan because some of their new things are beautiful. I'm going to start with this gorgeous pumpkin. And it's basically like, I think they class it as like a serving bowl or serving dish. And it's essentially a cream pumpkin I'm going to say it's definitely off-white and it's super textured which is what I love can you see the irregularity it's not like a perfectly pristine ceramic pumpkin it's gorgeous love it so this obviously in a kitchen for like serving as a serving dish um or even just as a little display bowl it's the sort of thing that might replace like our key bowl that I showed you earlier throughout autumn I could just have it then sat out on that console for with the lid maybe like off and just sat on it so this was 22 pounds not cheap but it is beautiful and I would rather pay a little bit more for something like that rather than that perfectly polished white ceramic pumpkin that you can kind of get from anywhere so the easiest thing to find for autumn decor is mugs or any kind of seasonal purchase I guess these two I picked up at £3.50 each, which I thought was a really good price. They had one that said stay cosy, and then they've got this one that says hello autumn, and this one that says pumpkin spice. And again, it's that kind of like speckled stone, there's like a stone base to it. Very kind of rustic, modern, farmhouse style home decor. But yeah, I like to have a collection to like kind of replace my everyday mugs throughout autumn. I don't tend to have too many like summery ones, summery mugs. I've got like obviously Christmas mugs, loads of autumn mugs, but spring and summer, I tend to just go with like my Neptune mug or you know, like just generic white ribbed mugs, or whatever. But I think that's why I love a seasonal mug at autumn. But yeah, you don't really tend to find that many in spring. I think Anthropology do some really nice floral designed mugs. They always do really good mugs, don't they? Um, in fact, I'll show you, before I show you those next things, one other mug that I got from Matalan as a little bit of an anthropology dupe. They do this um, pumpkin mug in like a, that same kind of speckled white color or like off-white color, which I got last year. But then this year they brought out this one. I don't think I remember seeing this one last year but it's a orange like a rust burn orange color this one was a bit more expensive at five pounds the anthropology mugs are just like this so they're definitely duping the anthropology ones that are usually about 15 pounds so yeah five pounds is still a third of the price um, and then the last thing that I got from Matalan is this three pack of kitchen towels which I just thought again were perfect to bring out for the autumn season well having said that it's quite good actually because this three pack it's very neutral again like modern farmhouse country style rustic but it's actually only this one that is seasonal with the pumpkins so you can obviously use the other two all year round so it's not too much like whoa seasonal the other colors are just like a plain rustic linen which is probably my favorite one and then this a like a polka dot one and what i love about this kind of decor i don't go too halloweeny so that i actually prolong the life of having autumn decor out 
not just for Halloween, but also obviously for autumn too. And I kind of just, this is my favorite purchase. I love it. So they are my Matalan purchases. I wasn't too impressed with Asda. They had like a taster of autumn, but I didn't love the items that they had. So I'm gonna hold off and wait until closer to autumn for Asda because I feel like they're gonna be bringing out more. Same with HomeSense and TK Maxx, although I did get a few bits from HomeSense. Not so much seasonal, but I'll show you them anyway. In fact, before I show you that, I might as well keep with the autumn theme and I'll show you my purchases from the range. They definitely, of all the shops, had the biggest selection so far. Oh, God, that's heavy. And then they had these bags on checkout as well. Pumpkin spice, everything nice. And then this one just says, hello, pumpkin. Wow, that one's heavy. I didn't realise I'd left these in here as well, but from Wilco's, I just picked up couple of cleaning essentials, nothing too exciting. This isn't seasonal, but I picked up a wooden doorstop that I thought I could pop downstairs. I just thought that was lovely. Just nice and simple. I think it was a pound or two. Then they had these over the door wreath hangers, wreath hooks, which I thought were lovely because they're this kind of like antiqued brass rather than like the gold that I think I've got downstairs already. And obviously they've also got this little decorative bit on the front as well. So they had two different designs. They had this maple leaf and then they had a pumpkin. And I thought, to be honest with you, most decor things in shops are pumpkin related. So it's quite nice to have an alternative that is awesome theme. So this little maple leaf, I decided to go for that one. And yeah, they've got this whole range <laughs> In the range which is called the full collection it's got these labels on which they definitely didn't have last year so i feel like that well at least as far as i'm aware so i feel like they're definitely kind of upping their fall decor rather than just halloween stuff this year so who knows maybe even they'll have more to come but the autumn wreath hanger was 6.99 okay the wooden door stop was only one pound 29 then i picked up this for well for a couple of reasons really but they had um they had pumpkin i think it was a candle making kit and then they had this wax melt kit which i thought was quite fun makes 18 wax melts so you can actually create your own and i've got a couple of essential oils from the white company so i thought, I thought it'd be quite a good idea to maybe towards autumn do some kind of like a bit of a DIY in a vlog to make my own wax melts. And they come with this mold, which is all pumpkins. And I thought these would be really handy as well to obviously not only make pumpkin shaped uh, wax melts, but also for like, you could use those silicone trays for anything, for ice cubes, for little dog treats or whatever, for little frozen treats. Um, little chocolate truffles even and i know they had more of these in the range just like selling them separately the actual silicon molds with different shapes as well like different maple leaves and pumpkins so yeah this was i think eight pounds and the silicon trays by themselves i think were only about a pound fifty got this cute little hello pumpkin hanging sign that obviously you could kind of paint or color in if you wanted to or just keep it nice and simple and neutral thought that somewhere near the front door would be quite nice when we eventually do that space and have a kind of console there and then i got these cute little knitted pumpkin picks they are adorable so they are just in natural colours, rustic, hessian kind of straw fabric with the little sticks and leaves, which I thought would be great for within like a floral display at autumn. So like if I've got nice bouquet flowers on the island, a nice arrangement with like wild dried leaves or eucalyptus or even like pops of rust and orange in there then just to pop these within a like a bunch of flowers, an arrangement of flowers, I thought that could be quite a nice touch to add that kind of seasonal element to it. And then this is probably what I think will be the biggest seller from their new full collection. And it's these pumpkin door stops. They're quite weighty and they had them in three different colors. They also had a brown and like a rust burnt orange as well. 
How much were they? The door stops were $4.99. These pumpkin picks were £1.49. Then at $4.99, they had some candles in with this design on the front. Just very simple. Pumpkin season in white. Super cute. It's got a wooden lid with some autumn leaves and pumpkins and stuff on but without the lid just burning i think the simplicity of this design just makes it so much nicer and really easier really easier really easy to be able to fit in with a neutral decor if that is also your kind of theme they were four pounds or 4.99 and then at five pounds i got this which isn't seasonal but I just thought it'd be beautiful. This is what was so heavy. It's this artichoke. So I know they do like the white ceramic ones from the range, but I thought this one, because it's like a stone, it's more of a natural material. It's a kind of, well, it is gray. And we don't have loads of gray, but sometimes like in our kitchen living space, we do have like cooler tones in there as well. And I don't know, I just, I like kind of mixing the two so it's not super warm but it's also not very gray in, in our kitchen living space. But anyway, I thought five pounds for this, and it is all weighty. I thought that would go really nice on like one of our bookshelves, whether it be on like the media wall in our kitchen living extension, or even in the, what I like to call the black room, which is what we're currently working on, currently painting, finishing off. And then this little wooden candle was only five, five how much was this? 5.99. I just liked it because again of the rustic wooden kind of vibes and it doesn't have to be like just a seasonal autumn candle not many people love burning candles throughout summer because especially when it's really hot the last thing you're thinking of doing is lighting a candle however i still really like to light them even if it's like a citronella candle outside or some kind of like the vine tomato in the kitchen some kind of light fresh scent the sea salt one from the white company is a favorite um, so I still like to burn candles throughout summer, especially in the evenings to get all cozy at night. Um, and yeah, this is definitely not just a seasonal candle, but I just love the kind of rustic feel to that and look to that. And then the last thing that I got from the range were these, kind of on theme, kind of not, but I got them for Barney just as a little treat from these Denzel's treats that he likes. These are nut butter bites peanuts, cashews, and turkey. And then I did also get some more treats. These are from Home Sense, And again, kind of on theme, these ones are pumpkin. Chicken with duck and pumpkin um, treats for him. And then what else did I get from Home Sense? Oh, I got these from Massimo Dutti, which obviously is like quite a nice brand. They did these sets at 4 99 and I can see they retailed for 16 pounds. So these sets, have inside two different scents of, I can show you there, hand gel and hand creams, cotton and green sage, and then juniper berry and ginger. So I thought these would be great to just like throw in a handbag, throw in the car. They kind of look quite masculine as well actually, so I might even give the darker gray ones to Tom to pop in his car. Yeah, it's just handy, isn't it, to have like a travel size sample, well not sample, but you know, small sized hand gel and hand cream for on the on the go and then i also spotted these now they had loads of these they are premium collection charcoal incense sticks now they had loads of different scents i went for sage and citrus and look i thought they were a bargain 199 so i got those you get 40 in there and then i also got this scent for the bedroom or for like upstairs lavender then i did also see these incense cones a 50 piece pack of the scent eucalyptus ba oh bathroom that would smell nice in the bathroom 5.99 these ones were and then i also got this soap this like cube one of the i just always see these kind of styled up on pinterest and instagram homeware accounts where people will pop these uh, soap bars like on a little dish or on a co cotton or linen towel or something with a kind of like a little brush sat on top and just kind of have it more as styling but also like there right by the sink so that you can use it if if needs be so by the kitchen sink or the utility sink I'm not sure which one I'm going to put it by yet probably the kitchen one because 
the green and the olive kind of goes with the kitchen with the island being that color so then lastly i got a couple of books this one was only 5.99 and it just says quiet pattern it's got a really nice kind of simple um spine to it that i can just style up with like other books on top of it and yeah i'm, I'm building a collection of books i thought i had loads and i do have loads but I didn't quite realise how I pretty much got out most of my books now and I have we haven't even got around to the main bookcase in the black room yet. So I feel like building up a bit of a collection is always a good idea so that I'm not having to like fork out loads of money in one go. Um, so I saw that one at 5 .99. I think it retails for £20. And then I saw this and I just showed Tom. I was like, Tom, look how much of a bargain this is. And he told me why it might be. It's one of the As Asuline books. So on Farfetch, it's £145. Saw it on uh, Selfridges as well for about £160. Amazon, it's £140. And yeah, so I saw it in TK Maxx, Canada Goose. It was the bargain price in the clearance of just £11. And when I saw that it was this, this like Asseline, one of the Asseline books, I know that they're premium and they're quite expensive. So it's just like a simple navy book with the Canada Goose, but I'd probably keep it in this because I quite like the design of the actual box that it comes in. Um, but yeah, Tom told me it's probably because they've been in the media about being a bit not the best in terms of the materials they use or something I don't know they've, they've been they've had a bit of bad press I didn't realize that <laughs> so that's probably why it's at that bargain price so I don't really know what to do with it I'm gonna just keep it and style it up or do I sell it on like eBay where like used ones are selling for about 75 pounds picked it up didn't realize that at the time so yeah they are my little purchases what do you guys think is it too early probably um but yeah here's a little taste of what's to come throughout the months of i'm going to say towards the end of august and in september we're fully into it. i usually like to decorate for autumn in september and then have them all the way to halloween pretty much and then november christmas starts but we're still in july we've still got a couple of months of summer left and i am looking forward to it actually i feel like we had a good taste taster of some nice sunshine in june and we were kind of spoiled with it for a good few weeks so i wouldn't mind a couple more weeks of sunshine yet so yeah throughout this month and into august i won't mind a little bit more sun but um but yeah that is my little taster of what's to come for autumn i hope you guys have enjoyed this come shop with me this haul some little house updates let me know what you guys like to see on my channel. I really appreciate your feedback. It helps me decide what to film within my vlogs. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And if you buy any other autumn bits in stores, be sure to send me messages on Instagram because I'll be straight to those shops. So you guys can use your eyes as well as mine to go shopping for autumn. Let me know your secrets too. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day. I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.